Abigail. Abigail waiting for you. Hi, my name is uh, Jennifer Carmichael. I'm principal with Somerset Academy Skyway Campus. Somerset Academy started in Miramar, Florida in 1997 in a small, actually, apartment complex. They wanted to just provide some underprivileged children, you know, a better education, and they found a way to do it. That has worked, and their model and methodology has been replicated not only nationwide, but um, internationally as well. And so it's just continued to grow more and more and more. We have schools in Las Vegas. We have schools in San Antonio. This one's the first in Arizona. They looked at Goodyear as a place to thrive um, because it's a fast-growing community. It's, I think, number one or two in the West Valley of Phoenix. We have a great partnership with Skyway Church. They are very huge supporters, very big fans of us. But they don't do they don't bring in the church side of it. So they do church, we do our school, and it's pretty much we just share the property, share the, the building, and share the space. Charters are on the rise nationwide, um, as it is. And I know charters are on the rise in Arizona, but I don't think this kind of charter has risen to kind of show itself in Arizona for the fact that it's just so small in terms of class sizes. And on top of it, um, the way that the differentiation happens with each child, it's such a personalized learning experience. It's a family-like atmosphere, but like kind of a private school feel for the fact that we, we have uniforms and we, we have high expectations. But in the same token, you know, when a child walks through the door, a family walks through the door, we know the family, we know the child, like the child knows that, like there's a partnership that I think is established as soon as it, you know, we, we know that they've signed up to be with us. We've actually doubled in like the last probably three weeks, a few more, we could say we've tripled in like the last month. So the demographics that Somerset kind of seeks after for their student population are um, tied to one underprivileged um, free and reduced lunch kiddos that really have a need for um, getting a better quality education. We're going to take every child that comes to our door regardless of what they come from and where they're coming from and everything else until our charter is full. And right now we're, I feel like we're about a third of the way there and we have two thirds to go but we're off to a really great start. With the expansion fund, we purchased a lot of technology. We received $40,000. We've purchased about 50 um, Chromebooks and 50 iPads with the thought of we're right now about one-to-one -one ratio and we'd like to continue um, as much one-to-one -one, um, wherever we can. The big goal for this, this campus, or my vision of that, is just to make sure that it's really a part of this 21st century digital world. Um, in the classroom and that grant really helps, you know, it's, it's really helping support that goal and that vision. People are saying, hey, you know, my, I just enrolled my kid, bring your kid too. And they want to be a part of something new and fresh and something that I don't think Arizona's quite ever seen before in terms of a charter. We're just beginning of the school year, day two, and we're all still excited and will continue to be, I think, as this year just keeps playing out because this is exciting to us to be these pioneers of this school.